<sighs> no, no, no. You are not foisting this nonsense on me. I'm given to understand you have the power to help the Charybdis, and should be quite willing to do so. And so I appeal to your better nature, most benevolent Emmet Selk. Please teach her to fly. Or else Hermes will transform! Right now! Now, now, there's no need to go quite that far. Altruism is its own reward as I'm sure he would agree. Oh, would he now? And who contrived to put me in this position, pray tell? Nothing so devious. I merely suggested a possible course of action. Please, Emmett Sulk! Please! all this way to play nursemaid to your creations. I thank you to remember this favor and let it be the last. I will aid it once it has taken to the air. It falls to you to shepherd it skyward. Well, let's relax and enjoy the spectacle, shall we? You were wondering why Emmett Selk joined the Convocation. Truth be told, he wasn't the first choice for the office. I was. On the strength of my ability to see Ether. But I declined the offer. For though my vision is exceptional, I am pedestrian in all other aspects. Worse even. Quite abysmal when it comes to manipulating Ether, for example. Couldn't transform even if I had a mind to do so. What good is the ability to perceive a problem if one cannot act to address it? Emmett Selk has no such shortcomings. He excels in vision and manipulation both, the latter to an extraordinary degree. If there is a mage more powerful, I do not know of them. Thus did I recommend him for the office in my stead. And I wasn't the only one. Far from it. Countless others vouched for his skill and character. People the world over, to whom he had previously lent a helping hand. <laughs> oh, how surprised he was. Claimed he hadn't done anything remarkable for anyone. Modest to a fault. He deserved every bit of acclaim he received. Yet he may well have gone unappreciated were it not for a mutual friend. A singular soul who can't help but involve himself in the business of others. Where he walks, excitement is certain to follow. His antics irritate Emmett Selk to no end. But much of his grumbling stems from genuine concern. When our friend calls, he never fails to answer and lend his talents. And in the course of doing so, he himself came to be recognized and respected by those around him. <sighs> they are truly remarkable individuals, and I'm proud to call them friends. To help them realize their dreams. This will be my greatest contribution to our world. And when they have fulfilled their respective purposes, so too shall I have fulfilled mine, and together we may return to the star. 
Look at me, spilling my innermost secrets. I can't seem to help it with you. I can only assume it is due to the color of your soul. I just don't understand how you can be so alike and yet so different. <laughs> well done, my pet. Well done! Ah, yes. I dare say the Charybdis will be fine here on. Why don't you go and signal to Emmett Selk? Let him know that his arduous task is at an end. Thank you. 